let me pray for you multiplied visions and spiritual experiences be fruitful and multiply a nation and a company of nation shall be of thee then he says and kings shall come out of your loins remember psalm 112 says blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed part of the principles of dominion is that your seed must reproduce and replicate you you cannot dominate just with your mind alone you must dominate with your seed you must bring something out of you to reproduce your result this is what confirms dominion so it is in the glory of the saints that the christ is glorified if the saints do not rise in glory then the christ cannot be glorified are we together now it is in the victory of the son that the father is glorified then the saints in partnership with the holy spirit bring glory to the son are we together now then the dominion of the church over creation principalities and powers is where the glory of the church lies i am god be fruitful be fruitful not a suggestion be fruitful two more scriptures psalm 1 and verse 3 popular but powerful scripture psalms chapter 1 and verse 3 the bible says and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season and his leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper he shall be he's trying to paint the picture of a kind of man that god is describing and he's saying that man will be in the similitude of a tree that is planted by the rivers of water you know sometimes when you study the bible try to understand what god is saying he didn't say by that is planted by the rivers he said the rivers of water then he says that he brings forth his fruit in season and his leaf does not wither and so whatever he does prospers one more scripture john chapter 15 and verse 8 just give us king james if we can have amplified that would be fine john 15 and verse 8 now this scripture is very powerful the bible says when you bear or produce much fruit my father is honored and glorified so there's no point being confused as to how god is glorified it says when you bear much fruit my father is honored and glorified and you show and prove yourselves to be true followers so fruitfulness is a demonstration is a validation that you were truly mentored by god is proof that you are part of him are we together now king james says hearing is my father glorified hearing this is how the father is glorified when you bear much fruit and he says by so doing so shall ye be my disciples Blessed be the name of the Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. Paul was teaching on the principle of sowing and reaping. And then he said something. He says, and God is able to make how many? That means grace is in dimensions. The Bible didn't say God is able to make grace. All grace. There are different kinds of graces and i've defined for you what grace is grace is not just limited to you know unmerited access and all of that grace like love has dimensions 
I define grace as every good and perfect gift that comes from above. Every possibility given to the saints that is only routed in Christ is called grace. So anointing is grace. Are we together now? Victory is grace. Wisdom is grace. Grace is like the spiritual warehouse that hosts every tool, every arsenal that has been stored for the victory of the saints. And the Bible says there are different kinds of graces. Wisdom is a grace. The anointing is a grace. Intuition is a grace. Creativity is a grace. And the Bible says on account of God's desire to make you fruitful, he can coordinate all grace. That means that God looks at your life and finds out the dimensions of his grace that must be captured in your life for the result he said you produce to be produced and that in his wisdom he is able to make all grace abound the word abound here means to make it within your reach god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that you always having sufficiency the word sufficiency here is not just abundance of resources alone that means that you are not limited in anything as far as your assignment or your productivity is concerned and then it says that you having sufficiency in all things may abound the goal is to produce good works but the bible says the system is that god will have to assist you so fruitfulness is not something that is just a product of your initiative you have to be assisted by god and the bible says one of the ways that god assists us is that by his intelligence he scans through your life and finds out what dimensions the graces that are not yet there and god is able to make all grace favor is grace he can make that grace abound towards you intelligence is grace divine direction is grace and God is able to make all grace to make all grace to make all grace like instruct them favor go and meet pastor alpha God is able to make he knows that if that dimension of grace is not in your life it will make him look like a liar so he puts pressure on his own integrity and commands that dimension of grace to find a way of colliding with you jesus and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having all sufficiency he says in all things may abound to every good work i believe this for my life all grace so it's no surprise if someone cannot sleep because of me and wakes up in the morning and says i don't know why i was thinking about you i know what is happening in the spirit god is making all grace he's coordinating the tools the possibilities that must be featured in my life all grace you want to receive jesus as your lord and personal savior can you repeat these words after me? Say, Lord Jesus, I declare that you are the Son of God. You came into the world and you died. On the third day, you rose again. I believe in the resurrection. Holy Spirit, fill my heart now. I receive eternal life because I have been washed right now with the blood of Jesus. Thank you for saving me. I declare you are my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray for you right now. That you are establishing God. You are kept in God. The God who is able to keep you from falling. Will sustain you the rest of your life.